that's warm. Okay, guys. Welcome to the barbecue. Now, I guess I have to say, before anybody gets all crazy, this is not a how-to video. <laughs> this is just me cooking some turkey. What we have on the barbecue tonight is one turkey breast cut in half. One side of a turkey breast, so everyone. Yeah. And this is way too hot. Oh, that's okay. We're done quicker. This is homegrown turkey. From what we butchered in the morning. I don't get no fresher than this. And yeah, this is an entire side of a breast. You know, these are not your butterball turkeys. These are heritage turkeys. They're not giant breasts like the ones you see in the store nowadays. But they taste ten times better. They taste what turkey should taste like. My opinion, anyway. I've never been a big fan of turkey, but I really like the homegrown, the homegrown stuff. Got this little barbecue set up between my frog farm and the catfish farm. Yeah, we don't have no space left here at all. She's full. Where the fish tank is now for the catfish, that's where my barbecue pit used to be. Chairs and everything. But it's occupied now. So you gotta make do. We never do uh, like a roast turkey, like a Christmas turkey or anything like that. We raise a lot of turkeys, but we never, uh, I haven't done a roast turkey in a long time. It's not something we really like. I've never been a big fan of roast turkey, actually. Even uh, when I was a kid, I always preferred roast chicken. So most of our turkeys are dismantled and cooked in pieces. I like this one. We'll be having turkey tum yum tomorrow. That'll be good. This thick part is gonna be. This little barbecue, I bought it at Macro. It's the same one that a lot of the street vendors use. It's very narrow, maybe six inches wide. And uh, a lot of the street vendors use these narrow ones to cook pork on a stick, you know? You put it this way, the meat is on here and the stick is sticking out. So they can, they can work it to turn H1 going across without uh, well you don't burn the stick the bamboo skewer and it's not it's uh, nice and easy to get at and you can use all of the grill no problem so they're quite popular it's a little small for for the house but you can do a couple of good sized steaks on here We don't do much barbecuing anymore. We should do more. It's a good way to cook, I think. Nice relaxing way to cook. It smells awesome. This uh, charcoal, you know, you can get the the briquettes, the factory-made charcoal. I think it's actually made in America. 
you can buy it here, but the same expensive and it'd be a little bit crazy too to do it. This is natural hardwood charcoal. It's actually uh, made at the wife's farm by her sister. Really good stuff. So this will be another home cooked meal cooked over homemade charcoal. Pretty cool, isn't it? Homegrown. Not sure what I'm going to have with this. Maybe just rice tonight. Something simple. That's cooked. I don't think so. It's black, so it must be cooked. <laughs> We're well and truly into the rainy season now. We haven't had a lot of really big rainstorms like you get sometimes the monsoon rains but it's been raining pretty regular just about every day to get a bit of rain and then the country has turned green again it's really nice the roads are crap but uh, that's uh, a dirt road in the rainy season that's what's going to happen It's a beautiful day today. The temperatures somewhat uh, manageable. <laughs> Around 32, 33 or something today. That's a lot better than 42. That's a little tough to take. I used to have a propane barbecue, Australian style barbecue, it was with the, the flat top, the cast iron flat top, it claimed to have been made in Australia, I'd be very surprised if it did, it was a, ever, I'd be very surprised if it was made in Australia, it was a piece of crap, it just flaked apart the entire grill, everything just came apart like a sandwich. Slices of it would come off. It lasted oh maybe a year, a little over a year, and then the burners fell out. The grill was gone, or yeah, the grill was gone long before that. And I just used a, a Thai grill, a cheap one from the market, and it it's a lot better than the cast iron one, that's for sure. That came with it. This thing cost a freaking fortune. Uh, almost twenty thousand baht for a propane barbecue. What's that? Six, seven hundred dollars. At the time, I could have got one hundred and twenty dollars. Would have bought a better one in Canada. I know that. But it's supply and demand. It's just not here. You know. Now you can buy some. Some uh, some places you can get the stainless steel ones. But it's worth a arm and a leg. You could buy a car cheaper. So I will stick with the charcoal. It's really considering we don't use it very much anymore. Gas is good, you know. I like the gas barbecue because it's quick. It's quick and easy, just fire it up and it's hot right away and you're good to go. But there's something about cooking over charcoal.
that barbecue sauce in a long time. I'm not going to put much on here either. Just do one side. Mmm, black. That's good. That's really, really good. You'd think it'd be dry. I always prefer dark meat. That's good. We'll call that done. That one another minute. That'll be it. Forgot to hit record there. I've been eating away, talking away. Tell you, this is delicious. Look at that. Beautiful. This is why I grow my own food, you know. That is way better than anything you could buy. And it's so simple. Wow. Look how nice that is. Not dried out, nice and moist. And this is a turkey breast. Not a butterball turkey breast either. Nothing was done to this. No hormones, no injections, no butter. It's just salt, pepper, a little bit of barbecue sauce. And lots of flies. The rainy season brings out the flies, I tell you. Okay guys, well that's it. I'm gonna go finish this. Had to share with my buddy. He's never far away. Look at that, didn't even use the fork. <laughs> okay guys, as always, thanks for watching.